This tablet is over 10 years old and right now it's working as a second monitor for my computer. Sounds crazy, right? Well, I wanted to test if it's actually possible and it turns out it works. Let me show you how I did it and what you need to know before trying it yourself. My first idea was simple, just connect the tablet to my PC with a cable and use it as a screen. But that's not how it works. Maybe some newer devices have a built-in option, but on this old tablet there is definitely nothing like that, so I had to find another way. I read ton of guides and tried hundreds of apps. Ok, maybe not hundreds, but there were a few and none of them worked. But finally, I found a method that basically streams your computer screen over Wi-Fi to the tablet. To make it work you need two things. First, install a small driver on your PC. That's what allows Windows to treat the tablet as if it was another monitor. Second, you install the free app free for non-commercial use on the tablet. When you open it, it automatically searches for computers on the same Wi-Fi networks. I know there are several similar apps out there. This isn't a sponsored video, I'm just trying it because it works and I'm surprised because such an old tablet can still be useful. And here's what happens when it connects for the first time. The tablet just mirrors your main screen. That's nice for testing, but not very useful if you actually want more space to work. The good part is that you can change this in Windows Display Settings. Just right click on the desktop, go to Display Setting and switch from Duplicate to Extend. Now the tablet acts as completely separate screen and you can set this screen wherever you want. Suddenly you have extra screen space for things like music player, notes or chat apps or whatever you want. Of course this only works as well as your Wi-Fi. If you have a strong fast connection it feels smooth. But if your Wi-Fi is weak you will notice lag and shattering. When I played a video there I noticed some lag but on more static screen I didn't see many lags. So it depends. One more buttons I didn't expect, since this is still a tablet, so it has a touch screen. I can tap to change the song, scroll through a to-do list or quickly check notifications, all without touching my mouse or keyboard. I didn't think this would work on a tablet this old, but it does. It's not perfect, it re relies on Wi-Fi, but it's a surprisingly practical way to give all devices a second life. In my next video I will test what happens if you connect not just a tablet but also a phone at the same time, basically creating multiple wireless monitors. So if that sounds interesting, subscribe and don't miss next episode. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.